For more on this, I'm being joined by Senator Smart Adeyemi from Kogi, representing Kogi West constituency. Good to have you on the news at this time. So first off, let's get your reaction to the suspension of the CBN governor. What do you make of this? Do you think it is politically motivated? With this uh, discussion, well, let's quickly move on to our next story, where as the inauguration of the 10th Assembly gets closer, many are still waiting for the All Progressives Congress to cave in to the pressure and review its zoning arrangement. A pressure groups of different aspirants from across the country have been marketing their candidates and making a case for their choice. Well, I understand now our cross our guest is now live for us in Abuja, Senator Smart. Adeyemi, representing Kogi West constituency. If you can hear me, good to have you on the news at this time. So I was asking earlier, what are your thoughts on the suspension of the CBN governor? Do you think it is politically motivated? Well, I, I think that um, um, we are all Nigerians, and we can still recall all that happened uh, in the last two months about uh, the issue of... Um, Redesigning of the currency and looking at the level, the poor state of our economy, the exchange rate. So I, I don't think people should be in hurry to, to react by talking about um, if that decision was politically motivated. You have the security service, uh, the police, the SS, who will do a thorough investigation. And don't forget that um, you have quite a number of uh, eminently qualified senior advocates of Nigeria, lawyers who can take up any matter. So it's a question of investigation, but I think common sense to me tells me that um, there's a re there are reasons for, for questions to be asked as about how many Nigerians lost their lives, how um, Nigerians wasted an uncountable number of hours at um, uh, polling booth trying to, um, uh, I mean, bank premises trying to get uh, money to run their daily affairs. Uh, we're told that um, the, the currency was redesigned and that in two, three weeks uh, they'd be available. But um, three months running now, we have not seen new currency. Rather, the newly designed note that is appearing. But that is not the issue. There are other issues which I think uh, be need for an answer. So nobody should jump into conclusion until we, we hear from the security uh, agencies that will handle multiple issues uh, relating to the uh, central bank and how it's been managed over the, the years. So I, I think Nigeria is a democratic society, so nobody should jump into conclusion. Uh, but again, if we, we on, have so. uh, conscience and you want to look at issues, you want to conclude that there are reasons to ask questions. All right, with that being said, let's quickly move on to the valedictory session now. What are your expectations for the incoming 10th Senate? And what are the key issues or legislative priorities they should focus on as they begin their new term? Well, I think in the 9th Senate, effort was made um, to help to see how we can uh, run a, a true federal system that we be efficient that we provide the basic infrastructures and uh, social amenities um, more than ever before, looking at the way we've been running our affairs. Uh, in the Ninth Senate, effort was made to um, review the management of the oil sector. Uh, don't forget that uh, we succeeded in passing the, the uh, Petroleum uh, Act, uh, which of course empowers uh, the president now more than ever before to embark on um, the removal of oil subsidy, which was um, the conduit pipe in which some uh, opportunist uh, Nigerians were making billions of naira at the expense of the masses, at the expense, at the expense of the country. So, so those are some of the achievements made uh, uh, um, in, the, in the night's um, assembly. But more importantly, it was effort to, to review the, the, the electricity power supply in Nigeria. So, so a lot of major achievements were recorded. So, so I want to look at, I want to expect the 10th Senate to build upon some of these uh, issues that, are that tended to, to, to pin us down as a nation. Nigeria need, need, need to be restructured. Uh, we need to restructure. We need to, to bring down some of these um, um, functions and um, 
um, exclusive um, uh, 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 functions of the federal government uh, down to the state so that there could be efficiency, there could be proper monitoring. There is a need for us to look at the security Nine service as we police ourselves. Senator uh, Smart Adeyemi representing Kogi West constituency. We appreciate your insights on the news.